Today, leukemia is still a very important and very common cancer. We're very successful at treating leukemia in children, where we can cure about 85% uh, of cases. Unfortunately, it's a very different case in adults. So in particularly adults of 60 years and above where leukemia is most common, only about 10% of patients can be cured with our current treatments like chemotherapy. In these older patients with leukemia, what we think is happening is that the cells are becoming resistant with genetic mutations, and because of that, they're growing out and uh, causing relapse. So one of the big changes in the last probably five or so years is now we understand that there's lots of different types of leukemia, probably hundreds of different types of leukemia. And so each patient with leukemia has its own genetic fingerprint, if you will. And we know that those genetic fingerprints are really the most powerful prognostic factor to how they're gonna to respond to chemotherapy. So with the CSL Centenary Fellowship, we're going to identify new drug pathways and also to maybe repurpose existing drugs that can be used in combination with chemotherapy to prevent resistance. I spend about a third of my time seeing patients, predominantly with leukemia and related disorders, and that really drives my motivation, but also the type of work we do in the lab. So fundamentally what we're trying to do is to develop new understandings and new treatments that we can then take back to patients in the clinic and improve their survival and hopefully improve cures for patients with leukemia.